Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quentin here and welcome to tutorial number 42 and in this tutorial I'm finally going to start talking to you guys about how to work with form values and PHP. Okay, now I realize I haven't uploaded a video in quite a long time so I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have been waiting for this video and I'm sure that even more of you uh, if you guys haven't been watching these videos as I uploaded them have still been waiting for this video just because now we are finally going to work with HTML elements or HTML controls that can send data back to the server and we can make a much more user interactive program okay so if you've been like if you're a developer this is pretty much what you've been waiting for um, now in order to do that we're gonna have to make use of forms which are an HTML element so I've gone ahead and just put in some basic HTML5 code. Uh, nothing that's complicated. If you guys don't know what this code is, you need to go back and watch my HTML series. And again, if you guys don't know what forms are, I do explain forms uh, in quite a bit of detail in my old HTML series. So go back, watch that, and you should be good to go with this series. But let's go ahead and add in a form and I'm going to go ahead and end that form off. And in here, uh, if you guys know about forms, then you know that we can include uh, input elements and then we can use these input elements to get information from the user. So I'm going to go ahead and say input type equals text and this will appear as a text box where the user could type in their name. So let me go ahead here and just type in the word name and uh, colon just so that uh, whoever gets this program would pretty much know what that text box is for and then let's type in input type equals submit and this is going to give us a button that the user can click on to submit their data once they have finished typing in their name. Okay, and we'll give this a value of submit. Now, I noticed in my HTML series and in my JavaScript series that a lot of guys ask me why am I using a submit button when I could just go ahead and type in the word button and still get a button show up in the browser. Now, uh, the reason for that is because a submit uh, or an input type of submit will actually submit the data that's in this form. So it's actually going to send the data somewhere. If I went ahead and just typed in the word button, then it's not going to send my data anywhere. I'm going to click on it and just carry on clicking on the button forever and ever until I actually program something for that button. But by default, a submit button has uh, something that it has to do, which is submit the data. But again, all of that was actually covered in my HTML series, so if you guys don't know about this, then just go back and watch that. Otherwise, uh, let's continue. Okay, so whenever you guys click on this button, um, let's actually go back to Firefox here and click refresh. Okay, uh, this is pretty much what you should be seeing. Uh, I know I cheated a little bit and I actually ran this um, before showing you guys but this is pretty much what you guys should see okay and uh, whenever you click on this button it should go through to another page okay so there's two things that are supposed to happen you're supposed to send the data that was filled in in this form somewhere so basically to another file on your server somewhere where you can write code to manage uh, basically what has been uh, typed in here. Okay, so to do that, you're going to make use of um, an attribute called action. And in here, you're going to put in the file that you would like to send the data to. Okay, so this would have to be the actual full file location. But I'm just going to go ahead and create this file called handler.php in the same directory as my index.php. Okay, but I haven't created it yet, so don't worry if you guys don't know what that file is. 
I haven't made it yet. We're going to do that in just a second. Now I want to talk about the second attribute that we have to put in here. And this is the method. Okay. And the method is basically how do you want to send this data that was filled in here? How do you want to send it to handler.php? So there are two different options that you could put in here. Okay. You could put in get which uh, sends it the get um, method or you can send it via the post method which is this word post okay now I'm gonna explain the difference between get and post in a future video probably in the next video so if you guys don't know what the difference between those two are don't worry we're gonna talk about that in the next video but let's go ahead and just um, keep that method as get for now okay and let's go back to our browser and click refresh and when I click on this button now it says object not found so we're going through to handle our PHP or we're trying to go through to handle our PHP but it doesn't exist so let's go ahead and make that file now so I'm actually going to just copy all of this code and then say file new and paste it all over here and save this in the same directory as my index folder call it handler.php done okay uh, and now let's go ahead and just get rid of those uh, elements and just put in an h2 element and ending h2 element and this can say um, something like handling your data okay and basically uh, now when we go back here and uh, click on this button well let's click refresh quickly click on this button we go through to our handler.php page and it actually exists okay so all we've done here is just set up a basic template that we are going to work with for the next few tutorials on just uh, submitting data from one page to another. Okay, so that's all I have for you guys in this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a comment, like or share the video. It's really going to help my channel grow and I will see you guys next time.